This video brought to you by Gamefly. Go to GameflyOffer.com slash HaloCanon for a 30-day free trial. Stick around to the end for more details. Hey there, Canonites. Welcome back to Halo Canon. This time we are returning to the original Halo Wars because my guest today does not have the Definitive Edition. Be sure to give him all the crap you can. <laughs> I'm kidding, though. Uh, my guest today is Trevmaster9, known on... I know him on Twitter as uh, Hess Rose. I met him at my during my trip to 343 Industries back in, at uh, PAX in September last year. And, well, we just really hit it off. We, you know, connected really well. So say hi. Hey, what's up? And, uh... Yeah. yeah. And he will actually be starting his own Halo YouTube channel called Halo Legacy. Um, I believe you do you do have that established, uh, I think, right at the moment, or like the YouTube channel set up or something. Uh, yes, just that with no is, videos. <laughs> uh, that is my name. That are officially on there, and the channel is up. I'm uh, I've got some art on there. I've got my my logo on there. All right. It's, yeah. So it's taken me a minute, but yeah. So uh, we'll leave a. Uh, I'll leave a link on the in the description box for people to view that. Yeah, my logo should be up there. I'm cha I'm still having some problems with it because uh, it takes it takes some like it's taken a while to for it to show up. It took me like an like an hour to get uh, one version of the logo to show up, and it's super zoomed in. So I'm trying to figure that out. Stop highlighting shit. Not you. <laughs> all right. All right. But no, yeah. So. Uh... And so let's let's just say what uh, what are your plans for that channel at the moment? Like, what kind of stuff are you planning to talk about? Okay, um, let's see. I'd I'd like to do quite a few discussion videos. Uh, it, as to what that would be, that would entail. Uh, probably just I'd like to do a bunch of videos on like the state of Halo and the state of the community and all that. And I'd also like to do some stuff on the lore and just like on multiplayer and just everything that goes on and is, is going on or has gone on in the series. I'd like to do that. Uh, yeah, I'd like to do that. I'd like to do a few lore videos. Definitely news. Uh, uh, definitely a lot of news. That'd be cool. Um, Ooh, cool. And then I'd like to get around uh, to reviewing Halo Wars 2. So that would that would be that would be cool. That'd be fun. Nice. Yeah, that, uh, yeah. So you can get around to that. Um, I maybe might do some like map like reviews, some Forge community stuff. That's cool. Uh, I'm I'm not sure. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't build them because I'm really really bad with Forge, but uh, <laughs> I would I definitely review a lot of them. Cause there's some really cool creations out there. They de that, they definitely need more more light because like the like the forest community is crazy what those guys can do it's ridiculous it truly is so talented people such talented people yeah oh, but God, no, that, that's probably look. what I'd like to do uh let's see yeah yeah and yeah I don't have the definitive edition which I will be getting once I pick up my physical copy. I didn't. I didn't know they were doing the digital thing. I'm like, I'm yeah. religious about going to the midnight launches of Halo. Like, uh, I, I can I understand that, that. Every single launch, I've done that since Halo CEA, which was my first midnight launch. Nice. My Kill first was birds. actually Halo Three back in back when that came out. Before I even dude, got a 360. Dude, <laughs> dude. Uh, that was that was my very first Halo game, and I remember like watching unboxings of like the legendary edition and like seeing all the stuff people got from the midnight launch like, people got like t-shirts and hats and stuff I was, yeah Dude, that's so cool i wish i could have been there for that oh man oh, that's yeah, my... been a minute since i played this <laughs> just a bit just a little bit all right uh, let's see yeah but no um Hmm. But yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's what I'm uh, what I'm planning to do. Hopefully, uh, still need to get my recording software. I just still need to figure out what I'm gonna do with that, and uh, uh what I'm gonna do as far as editing. Um, I have a, I have a like, my my PC situation Ooh, is kind of weird right now because I don't really know what I'm gonna be using. Um, my laptop. Is kind of uh, 
Well, they're both. Well, I have one. I have two laptops. My my small one, which is my HP, that it can't really process my gameplay footage all that well. Oh, um, that's fantastic. Then I have an Alienware laptop, which that can process it fine. But the only problem with that laptop is it's really, really slow. It's super slow. Like, oh my god. Like, I'll go on Google or something, and I'll type something in, and it'll load just fine. And then I'll click the like whatever I want to click on, like whatever link I want to click on, and then it will take like five to ten minutes to load it. I'm like, come on, this is this is awful. So I need I need to get a better PC. I need to get something that works out well. Yeah, well, I'm sure in time you'll be able to. My own my current PC is the result of YouTube money, so like oh, entirely. Yeah. So I re. So if any of you guys ever wonder what I what I do with some of that money that uh, I earn from the ad revenue that you guys get me, which I'm incredibly thankful for, by the way, if I've never said, um, that is one thing that I have spent it on. Mm. Yeah, this I, is can, actually I can see that. Yeah. Quick canon thing here. This is interesting. We have uh, this decontamination sequence announced. Mm-hmm. It's hard to say, but um, have you read Halo Smoke and Shadow yet or seen anything about Not that? Not yet. I need to watch your review. All right, do you mind if I spoil a little something about go, it? Go ahead. I was going to okay. watch your full review anyway. Okay. So anyone watching here, um, you know, quick spoiler alert for Halo Smoke and Shadow. In that, we meet a an AI known as Little Bit, which is the former AI, or more accurately is a fragment of the AI that ran the S.H.I.E.L.D. world. And I'm wondering now... Um, after having read the book, is what we just heard, you know, the decontamination sequence starting or whatever, could that be Little Bit? Interesting. I, I need to read that. Well, there's there's a lot of Halo novels that I need to read, but... Uh, right, that's why sure to fly into the thing. Great. <laughs> uh, that's a, wait, what thing? Because uh, the cleansing beam, if you fly oh, like, straight oh into it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. But, uh... Joy, oh joy. Your channel is fantastic because I don't have the time to read all the novels. So I just go on and I watch your reviews. And now we see the real reason I brought this guy on. So, just so he can suck my dick the whole time. I'm oh, kidding, absolutely. of course. I'm kidding. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. No. Uh, oh, yes. What uh, the yeah, no, like, this, that's great because when I use somebody like me who doesn't have the time, it's fantastic to be able to watch a 20, 30 minute video and get everything explained to you. It's the ultimate lazy way out. I'm little, a little thing here that I, I never understood is that the Spartan 2s have shields in this. Yeah, that is something that's kind of weird because the original intent by the developers was basically just it's supposed to be purely gameplay, it's not meant to be canon. Yeah, I always assume that. But in Halo, in uh, the Halo Essential Visual Guide that came out in 2011, not the Halo 4 one, but the first one. Mm-hmm. Uh, shut up, phone of mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, I don't know why I always forget to turn that to to shut that down whenever you know it's I'm doing a recording. But anyway, oh, yeah. so the original intent was to uh, was for them to be non-canon, just a gameplay element. That's why they never show up in cinematics. But in 2011's visual guide, uh, they said that it says that uh, the UNSC was field testing shield systems as early as 2531, which is obviously meant to be uh-huh. a reference to Red Team in Halo Wars. So it seems like 343 canonized it for reasons I can't even begin to understand, because it's oh, a geez. really stupid idea. Oh, no, not again. No, we don't need more plot holes. Guys, yeah, it, it, it seriously makes no sense, no matter how... Like, I actually asked some 343 devs about this years ago. Um, it's a, it's actually on an interview on my channel. And they essentially said that, it's like, oh, there's no reason, you know, there couldn't have been prototypes around at the time. Um, and I, my problem with that is, like, you know, even though that the, you know, the these uh, Red Team systems, these were never, like, recovered or anything... Why would they not have that data just, you know, somewhere like in some Oni black, like hard drive or something? There's yeah. no reason the data should have been lost is, is essentially my point. Yeah. And um, 
Because the weird thing is, you in Halo Reach, you have the Grenadier helmet, which, uh, what was it? It um, was said to be like the base, like one of their baseline tests for uh, for shield systems. So, you know why? I mean, it, it just makes it, and it, it obviously failed. So it just like it, there's just all this stuff that makes absolutely no sense about Red Team canonically having oh, shields. Yeah. And then you look Jeez. at like any of the Halo Wars Two media, and or like media that's been that's been released so far, I should say. And Red Team, by all indications, do not have shields again. So yeah, like I'm I'm questioning I'm seriously questioning what was the point of adding that if they're not planning to do anything with it. Like if they yeah, decide to rescind that, I'll be perfectly happy. But <laughs> yeah, it's we have all of the stuff that needs to be explained that'll probably never get explained, and it's it's a little irritating. Yeah, like, to say uh, the least. Let's see. But with Halo Wars too, like I'm wondering if they'll uh, in the campaign if they'll explain why we saw in the beta the the menu with the uh, with the Mark Six looking armor. Ready. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, like, oh yeah, that. that. Yeah, that mm. I'm I'm still pretty confident that's going to those are that's an in-game model. So it might not uh, be the actual like <sighs> like the actual RTS model like we're seeing on you'll see on my screen of Alice mm. there. But like that kind of model. So not necessarily a, a model we'll see in cinematics. Ah, uh, that's a bummer. Yeah, a little it, it kind of is, but when you look at like if you look at go to Halopedia and look up like look mm. at Jerome's article uh, Jerome 092, look at his article, you can see they have some images of his in-game model, and it kind of looks like that. Like, it looks like he's wearing Mark yes. 6 rather than Mark 4 in the actual RTS sections. So, mm -hmm. oh, how because do you miss I, these guys? <laughs> I remember, I remember, because uh, around the time after, the little bit after the beta, I was looking up some stuff about it, and uh, that was another theory people had come up with, that that armor was Jerome's replacement armor. Well, it would have been, yeah, Doug, or Douglas's, but it's or, just like... Was it Douglas? Oh, okay. Douglas was the one that lost it, but I'm just saying, like, okay. In, okay. the actual Jerome model in the in the mm. RTS section, not in the cinematics, has, like, a Mark VI looking armor. Oh, so. man, dude, I've been out of the loop. It's been a while since I've yeah. looked up some, uh, some, uh, <clears throat> some lore. So it might, yeah, so it might not be that it's meant to be a Spartan. It's not, might, it might not be something we see in cinematics. It might just be, hmm. um... You know, just just their in-game model for it. So, because that's that's the sense I got when I saw all the other uh, stuff that's since been revealed. Hmm. But yeah, well, there you go. There was a very short mission. I forgot how short that is. Oh yeah, jeez. <laughs> yeah, but was uh, it was fun. Mission, yeah, I, it's yeah. a fun mission. That and repair right. are two of my are two of my favorites in it. Other than the the very last mission. Is just mm. so much awesome in every way. Taking on Flood and Covenant and oh yes, that oh, last cutscene. Yeah. Oh god. Oh, uh, that last cinematic is beautiful. Yes. Oh well. I wish we had more time, but that is the end of this level, and the next level, right. unfortunately, is already reserved for someone else. So I. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> which is I wish as much as I wish I could. I cannot bring you oh, along. Okay. So, I hope you had fun, and I hope I you fun. watching had fun. Yeah, and, I, yeah. This is great. And I Thank hope you, you man. won't. I hope you won't brigade him for not having Halo Wars <laughs> Definitive Edition like a weeb. Oh Mr. my god! <laughs> I'm yeah, kidding, of course. Oh man, I can't wait for Halo Wars too. I hope neither you can I. It's as well. Oh, I'm so looking forward to it. And uh, my channel will be up sometime this year, at least. <laughs> So yep. Get on this it. is the year. I was originally planning on Christmas, yeah. but that didn't work out for reasons. But ho hopefully, it'll be up this yeah. year. I'll tell you this firsthand. Don't worry too much about your about your hardware when you start out. Mm -hmm. Everyone's okay. going to start out with crap unless they have, you know, like billionaire uh, parent, millionaire parents. So okay, <laughs> what can okay. you do? But, you know, I started recording uh, mine with a la I'm with sorry. a. With a decent laptop, but you know, still an old, it was still old at the time. And I just used the built-in microphone when I started, but you can really hear if you go back and watch those old videos. Oh, uh, the uh, audio yeah. quality is something else. Oh, I cannot wait to watch you rip apart the lore of Halo Wars Two. I can't wait to do, that, to get into it. Great. It's going to be fun. I can't wait for that. Yep, uh, I can't wait for the game. It'll be great. 
and uh, hopefully you'll let me back on. Hopefully we can do something for Halo. Wars I would, uh, yeah, I would definitely look forward to that. If not, that'd be great. Uh, campaign, do some blitz or multiplayer or something. Oh, we'll see what comes down the pipeline. Oh, yeah. Anyway, thank you for joining me, Trev Master no Nine. Anytime. Uh, thank you all out there for watching. Again, check out um, if you want to. You can pre-subscribe to his channel. Uh, I'll leave a description in, or a link in the description box below if you Thanks. want. When you do launch it properly, we'll bring it back on and give you some proper promotion. Oh, yeah, that'd be I'm great. I'm looking forward thank to you. what to the content you produce. Anyway, oh, thank, you. thank you all for joining me. And until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give a like and consider subscribing and sharing this video around. Also consider checking out Gamefly, with over 8,000 new releases and classic games for current and previous gen consoles, and even some older consoles, Gamefly is a great way to try tons of games without buying them. Go to GameflyOffer.com slash to start your 30-day free trial.